Assalamu alaikum, this is Khaled and you're watching the 12th episode of Arab Guy and Battle Spot where I go battling on the battle spot with my commentary. Um, I guess it's been a while since uh, the last video. Uh, I do believe I skipped two days. Uh, I actually had to, on the first day, I had to skip because I wanted to focus on building a deck for, uh, for the Buck 1 TCG tournament. And the following day, I, I played the TCG tournament and I thankfully I won first but I was too tired to do anything afterwards since uh, it was long and the games were very tiring and so here we are uh, you'll notice I did uh, change uh, my team a bit at least the defenders is now melodic the roles are different of course but I think melodic uh, feels that spot really well so let's go ahead I'm at 1622 and you'll notice uh, at the bottom right down there uh, is a tweet by Sanvi you can't lose if you bring your shroom oh I'm up against Paul Chua from United States New Jersey interesting uh, and it looks like it's going to be a mirror match kind of except uh, there's Melotic on my side and there's Thunders on his side. Um, well, this is going to be cool. The last time I played against him, he was playing uh, Chop. So, let's see here. He could be the Trick Room variant, so that's fine. I mean, that's the team team what what the team originally was so but he might have changed a bit and is running in prison if he does I'll uh, it's an auto loss for me probably let's see here melodic landros seems really really nice here Unless he leads with, uh, with his Among Us, then that will be tough. Actually, no, I'm not, not bringing him out. I'll bring my Heat Man. And in the back, I'll bring... Hmm. Actually, I'll not bring Landris. Instead, I'll go for Melotic and Heat Run. Though if he leads with uh, Landros and Thunderous, I'm completely screwed, probably. So let's go... Gardevoir and Among Us. I think this is good. I do want to bring Tyranitar though. Oh well, let's go. So yeah, we're bringing our Shroom, and we can't lose if we bring our Shroom, so... We'll see how that looks. Well, I'm bringing the heat on and Melotic. And he brings Guardsworn and Thunderous. That is fine. This is Flash Fire. Um, I guess I'll substitute. Not too afraid of that guard war at the moment. I could go for Icy Wind, but he may set up Trick Room. But I think he might be not in the Trick Room mode. But if I use Icy Wind, he will just set up Trick Room in the following turn. So. Let's go with... Actually? I'll protect. Just want to see what he's going to do. Melotic protects. Let's see what Thunderous goes for. I hope it does something against the Melotic. Thunderbolt onto Melotic. Perfect. Godwar uses his hyper voice. 
Okay. Okay. That's fine with me. Um, though I'm not sure what kind of thunders that is. Hmm. Let's go heat wave and no, actually I'll protect. We we'll probably target the heat run. And I'll scout his Actually I'll recover. Heatran protects. And he goes for the Thunderbolt onto Mirage. Okay. We should survive the Hyper Voice. Just barely. With the recover, we should be good to go. Okay, we set up our side kind of well. I'll heat with and uh, recover once again, expecting him to target the heat run. Thunder wave. Okay. I'm already. Uh, Luminotic isn't the, the fastest thing at the moment, so that's fine, I guess. Let's go for the heat wave and hopefully doing nice damage onto everything. Quite nice. And we get the burn onto the guard war, so things are looking good for us. Well, since he thunder wave my melodic, uh, he's not going to go for uh, uh, what's it called the trick room anytime soon. So. Let Let's see here. I, I'll pro I think protecting and yeah, I'm guessing he wants to get rid of the melotic as soon as possible. So let's keep heat waving and I'll protect with the melotic. Let's use the thunderbolt on the heat run. Okay. I guess I predicted that wrongly. Heat wave, uh, probably Citrus Berry Thunderous. Yep. He's probably going to expect a. A protect from the heat run. So I could set up a substitute. But he could attack it straight away. And if that happens, Hyper Voice could knock me out behind the substitute. So I really want to set up a substitute, just in case uh, that Landros comes in. We'll set it up and... Scout the Thunderous. Okay. He's going to bring in... Perfect. I wasn't expecting that switch out, but I don't mind it. We should have enough HP for... Uh, yeah, we have enough HP for a substitute. And we go for a scout. Guard Wars going down the next turn. 
so I will protect my heat run and recover with the Minotic. He'll probably protect his, his heat run. Yeah. So things are looking really good for me. Let's hope we don't get further. Okay. We go ahead with the recover. We're restoring our HP and we things are looking really good for us. He sends out his thunderous. Um, is he going to go? Is, is he going to double into the heat run? He could. Let him, I don't mind too much. And I'll need to get rid of the heat run regardless. Because as long as that on the f that is on the field, we cannot bring our shroom. He goes for the Thunderbolt onto heat run, as expected. And I'm guessing uh, an Earth Power. Yeah. I didn't mind my, that much. Though I guess I could have expected that and went for the Protect. The Double Protect to be exact. At least we take out his heat run. So that's something. Let's see here. He brings his Landorus. I was actually expecting him to bring his Kangaskhan. Okay. This is nice. So that means we can just go for Rage Powder and sculpt his Landorus. Actually, he's probably going to taunt the Among Us. I'm really expecting a taunt, so let's protect this. And scald the Landros. But he could double into the Mirotic, so that's something. I don't want to take risks. I think Rage Powder and scald into the Landros. So wait, he didn't bring his card over. Oh, he did, he did, but I cannot stop. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, that's the wave. No taunt. Okay. Box light. Mungus avoids because it's such a boss. Don't flinch, Mirotic. We'll keep Rage Powdering. And Scald. Taunt, okay. Rock Slide, don't finish my Mirotic. Scald, yes. Focus Rush? Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, okay, well, yeah, he already taunted me, so uh, I guess I'll kick it right him and I guess leave Milotic get knocked out. We'll recover just in case. Okay, he forfeits it. Very good game. Uh, the last time I played against him, I was completely and utterly destroyed. 
good to see I won this time. Uh, the last time wasn't on this show. Uh, it was offline. I will. I mean, off off air to be more exact. So yeah, let's uh, let's play let's play second match. So yeah, we brought our shroom and we won. Let's see if we win another with with our shroom. Uh, four 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 L from Hong Kong, fifteen fifty three. He has uh, Blaziken, Melotic, uh, Pinsir. Garchomp, Thunderous, and Egg Slash. I guess Pinsel is the highlight here. So that's something. Um, I guess I'll lead with Guard War and Heat Run. Um, just worried about that pencil. It has uh, early late when it mega evolves, so Amoongus is going to knock out, get knocked out in a single hit. I want to bring Landorus, but that Melotic is too scary. So I may keep it in the back. I don't think I'll bring my Melotic. Though it probably does well against a lot of things, so I might as well. Actually, not a key run. I think that's the perfect lead against everything on his team. Guard War and Among Us. Yep, let's go. I, I know uh, Pinsir and uh, Singles usually carries something like Quick Attack, Return, uh, Earthquake, and maybe Super Power. Okay, so there's that. But I'm not entirely sure what it will have in doubles. Okay, so immediately I can see going for protect and I see wind pencil isn't the bulkiest of things so please don't bring melotic Okay, things are going to get nasty. Now I can't bring in my Among Us because that pincer is really threatening. Well, at least I did slow down the pincer, so that's something. Oh look, Maranga. Great! Very nice prediction. Now I could sack the Melotic.
I guess I'll go for Heat Wave. And... Protect. Yeah, that should be fine. My Mimler to protect. Let's use his return onto the heat run. And my heat run. Ah, well, it's still faster. Hmm. Now oh, that's what happens when you when you're uh, when your heat run is quite. So there's that now. I'm not sure if I'm faster than his pincer though. So I'll make evolve protect and. He might protect his pincer. So I'll just recover my Mirotic. Shouldn't be get knock getting knocked out by my opponent's Mirotic. So after the Mega Evolution, I should be faster. Yeah, okay. He did go for the Protect. And I use recover. Okay, things are looking kind of better. He's a scald. Onto my Mirotic. I wasn't expecting that. So we're free to hyper voice. And do we scald or do we recover? I feel recovering is probably the better choice here. Or maybe Scald. That's uh, Scald, the Pincer. Okay, we're faster. Pincer should get knocked out. Yes. And hopefully we'll burn that melodic. Burn? Nope. And he scalds my god. Okay. So we can take another. Probably. But we do want to take care of that guard champ. So protecting and scalding the Garchomp. Hopefully we get a burn or something. Goes for the rock slide, guard war protects. Melotic, uh, please do not flinch. Okay, my Melotic goes for the scald. Please burn. Burn would be really nice. No, no burn. Um, I guess I'll switch out into Amoongus and recover with my Melotic. Goes for earthquake. That's interesting. And he scouts. Scouts my melodic. I could have simply went for hyper voice. I think we could have survived that. Oh well. We'll get it during the melodic. And we'll scout his Garchomp. Is that even a good idea? 
You could knock out my Mungus right now. Yeah, let's scout the guard jump. Should be good. Please don't flinch. Okay. Does good damage. No burn. He recovers and I will uh, kick it drain him. So he's not the only one to recover. Ah, flinch. Flinch, flinch, flinch. <coughs> Sorry. Um. I guess I'll protect and recover. He may go for the ice beam onto the Amungus, so recovering with Minotic seems to be the play. Okay, he protects. Does he not? I think he, he doesn't have. Uh... I think he doesn't have uh, what's it called ice beam. We should survive this just fine. Just barely. Okay, so we know our Amoongus is safe. Our Amoongus is definitely safe. So let's pour his Melotic, knowing we can he can't protect again. And I'll recover again. And hope he doesn't get the flinch. Not a flinched. He has a scout onto my Melotic. He gets the double flinch, wow. Uh, we'll spore his melodic again. No, we can't spore that. Actually, we'll spore his guard jump and protect with my melodic. He goes for the earthquake, attacking himself, which is interesting. He goes. Oh my god. Okay. So, seeing at his damage output, I think we can safely go for uh, the icy wind. I mean, uh, hitting the melodic with Skull. Though, I do want to. Uh, Recover. But let's do what we can at least. Uh, we'll hyper voice. We should survive whatever, whatever the guard jump is going to throw at us, including the earthquake, I think, hopefully. And. Do we. What do we do? Do we recover or do we attack the skull the melodic? I feel his melodic might survive, so scalding the melodic seems good. His melodic protects. Earthquake. Does the melodic, Do we sur Does the melodic survive? I don't think. Ah, we, we got knocked out anyway. That's uh, very unfortunate. Uh, I'm not sure he was expecting my. Melotic to use Icy Wind or not. Though, regardless of what the Melotic, I mean, regardless of what my opponent was expecting, the switch in was great. Whatever I was going to throw at him, uh, it's going to be resisted. And with that, uh, my Icy Wind boosted his Melotic, so. I'm actually still trying to get used to my melodic. Uh, I need to pay, pay more attention to if my opponent has a melodic or not, and when when he could bring it. So it's something to get used to. We'll be losing matches and whatnot uh, from that, but uh, we'll, as we go, we'll learn. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time
And the shout out before that, shout out to Sandri uh, for that tweet. Uh, it actually came about after a nice discussion on how awesome Among Us is. Uh, we did bring our shroom the first game, we won that. We brought our shroom the second game, we didn't win that unfortunately. But that's uh, mostly because of my own mistakes rather than me bringing Among Us. So, shroom is the best. And see you next time.